Hi, my name is Pierre Gagné. When doing projects, all organizations have to do business requirements. Question is, what needs to happen when doing business requirements? They have to be done quickly, efficiently. They have to be done thoroughly without forgetting anything. As we all know, when we redo things at the end of the project, it's costly. And third, all impacts and all stakeholders are recognized to be part of the project. Here's how Panorama 360 can help you. It will help you define a common vocabulary for the participating team members. It will speed up the process to define a comprehensive set of business requirements and make them complete. It will ensure that all stakeholders to be involved in the process are identified. Here's what an insurance company president says about Panorama 360. This president was also the former CIO of another organization. It has been integrated into that company for over eight years. And specifically, this organization performed the requirements modeling using Panorama 360 and says that it has given them greater velocity in validating that all business areas and services in the companies are addressed. Panorama 360 has a number of components, from value chain to capability maps to information structures to functions to processes, activities within the processes, metrics to the processes, and the stakeholders participating in the value chain. Panorama 360 is very comprehensive. It has 11 domains, 75 major capabilities, and 500 business capabilities functions. It also has an information side to it. It's also a three-tier decomposition of information domains into subjects into topics. And they're matching directly with the functional side of the capabilities. There's also 36 processes, core processes, that are in, included in Panorama 360, and they're very detailed. Let's take an example. Here we have claims as the in scope of the project. Everything that is in yellow is part of the integration. So MAC claims will be interfacing with customer service. It will be interfacing with administration of contracts, as well as distribution channels, service providers, collectibles and payables, and human resources. As soon as I have that understanding, I have now the integration scope. And it represents exactly what we did on the previous slide. Panorama 360 provides also a list of a, more than 100 stakeholders that participate in the value chain. In this case here, we've identified some of them. And we have adjusters, we have doctors, we have garages, estimators, and so on. And they will all interact within the claims management value chain. Once we have that, for each one of them, we can identify the information flows between claims and each, each actors, each stakeholders. So we have claims to claimant and we have claimant to claims, both sides of the equation. In a more granular fashion, now I can identify the major capabilities that are part of scope and the other major capabilities that are part of the integration. Once I have this, at a lower level of granularity, now I can identify all the business capabilities functions that are part of the scope. And I can do the same thing with the ones that are part of the integration. Panorama 360 provides you with definitions for each one of those capabilities. Those capabilities can be then used as part of processes, which are also included in Panorama 360, 
with definitions and activities. Once we have those activities listed, we can now identify which one will be kept manually, which one will be not required, and which one can be automated. And it's not because they are kept manually that they don't have to be taken care of in the project. Procedures will also have to be detailed, even though they are manual procedures. Once we have that for each capability, we now can define the business triggers, the activities which we've already done and provided in Panorama 360, the service performed by which areas or which people in the organization or which technology, the information that is being referenced, the information that is being managed, and once the capability has been completed, what gets triggered? What's important here and what belongs to your organization are the rules and algorithm. And for each one of those activities, you can identify those rules and algorithms that would apply. So that completes the business requirements, uh, having identified all the stakeholders, all the business capabilities, all the integrations, all the activities, your rules, your algorithms, and that would make the business requirements complete. If you have any questions about this presentation or about what Panorama 360 can do for your organization, please go to insuranceframeworks.com. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much for listening.